When we started this channel, we talked about the history of the most famous villain of Power Rangers, and I am obviously referring to Rita Repulsa. She has a very complex history since we have part of her life in the TV series that we have seen since the beginning of the franchise, but now with her reappearance in the special episode, her story is longer. We also have a bit of her story in the comics, but we are not going to talk about everything that appears in the comics since those are different stories. In this video, we want to try to talk about the most basic backstory of Rita Repulsa so you can understand a little bit about this character and if you are one of those who never saw Mighty Morphin, then here you can get to know who this witch is. Let's start by giving a brief description of her, an evil sorceress, daughter of a feared conqueror of worlds named Master Vil. This villain is part of the Dark Spectre organization, basically an evil emperor who only wanted his daughter to be a vessel for his boss. Rita's mother is Lady Fienna, who was a very powerful sorceress who was Zordon's ally and fell in love with Rita's father before he was corrupted by Dark Spectre. They were both studying the Morphin Grid and had been able to see the future of their unborn daughter at the time. Lady Fienna saw Rita become the mystical mother, but her husband only saw Rita become a witch and himself become Master Vil. That is how Dark Spectre corrupted him and now became Master Vil for the purpose of separating Rita to be the vessel. Rita's mother realized this, so she ran away when she was pregnant, and Master Vil had been looking for her for a long time. Finally, when Rita was six years old her father found her and sent his warriors to bring his daughter back. The Phantom Ranger helped Rita and her mother escape until they reached a place filled with Morphin Grid energy. The purpose of traveling to this place was to heal the Phantom Ranger's wounds, but Rita's mother had the idea to fill her daughter with Grid energy so that she could no longer be Dark Spectre's vessel. In the process, the machine exploded, and Rita's mother died. When Master Vil arrived to look for Rita, he realized that she was already full of grid energy and was useless to Dark Spectre. Despite this, he decided to take Rita to try to turn her into the witch he had seen before she was born. Rita grew up learning to be an evil witch and made herself a scepter to channel all her evil power. This was because she wanted to be more dangerous and be able to do what her father did, conquer worlds. She met Lord Zed and began to work for him conquering the galaxy while gaining fame for her destruction of worlds. Rita was such a powerful villain that she began to create an army to aid her in her conquests until she met Zordon of Elter. She started a war against Zordon that would last more than 2000 years, in which they had legendary battles where both lost part of their armies. In between all that war, Lord Zed sends Rita to conquer the Earth and she establishes her evil headquarters on the moon and Zordon established his on Earth to fight against Rita. In that period, Zordon finds five coins of power and Rita found an additional coin. The sixth coin, which would give life to the Green Ranger who would help her in the battle to destroy the Power Rangers that Zordon would create with those five coins. Before the Green Ranger and Zordon created the Power Rangers, Rita and Zordon were still at war. Rita started to lose the battle, so she decides to form a plan and tells Zordon that she wants to make a peace pact, but her real plan was to get Zordon to let his guard down and trap him in a time warp. Despite this, Zordon was prepared and locked her in a space junk capsule which he then sent to wander in space for eternity. After 10,000 years some astronauts came across the capsule and removed the seal by mistake, setting the evil villain free. She quickly went to the moon to her headquarters which was abandoned. She managed to gather several of her servants who would help her again to conquer the Earth and that is when she sent Golder to destroy the Earth. Then she was surprised to find that Zordon had created the Power Rangers, who defeated Golder and all the monsters that Rita sent. 
After so many defeats, Rita remembered that she still had the sixth power coin and with it she created the Green Ranger, an evil ranger destined to destroy the Power Rangers. After many battles, Jason, the Red Ranger managed to break Rita's spell on the Green Ranger and then made him part of the team. In the comics, in the Green Ranger saga, we could see that after this Tommy had a connection with Rita, until he was able to destroy that connection. After this Lord Zed was so disgusted with Rita's inability to conquer Earth that he locked her back in another garbage capsule and started the war against Zordon himself. In less than a year Rita managed to escape and return to the moon with the help of Finster who restored her to her normal size. He also helped her create a love potion to conquer Lord Zed and convince him to marry her so they could both fight against Zordon. At first it was a sham, and she only did it to overthrow Lord Zed, but in time she would abandon this idea and truly love him. After many defeats, Rita's father arrived on the moon to help her defeat the Power Rangers. At that moment Rita and Lord Zed took the opportunity to bomb Zordon's command center and steal the Zeo Crystal. Rita sent her brother Rito Revolto along with Golder on this mission, they managed to plant the bomb, but lost the Zeo Crystal. Zordon, Alpha and the Power Rangers managed to survive in a fortified power chamber beneath the earth and eventually found the Zeo Crystals in the rubble. Sometime later Rita and Lord Zed were overthrown by the Machine Empire and decided never to face the Power Rangers again. Despite this, Rita and Lord Zed teamed up with Dark Spectre to deal a final blow to the forces of good throughout the galaxy. With this Rita regained confidence that the Power Rangers could be defeated, so between her and Lord Zed they worked together to catch the Gold Ranger. At that moment, the Dark Spectre army was winning the battle throughout the universe, and this is why Zordon sacrificed himself so that his energy would finish with all the villains. This same energy purified Rita and Lord Zed, who somehow became human, but their energy was left wandering through space. After several years as a human, Rita regained her powers, but this time she used them for good and was called the Mystical Mother, appearing in Power Rangers Mystical Force. However, her evil energy was still wandering through space and when Billy tried to bring Zordon back, Rita's energy entered through the broken glass of the tube. This energy took over Alpha 8's body and she managed to transform into Robo Rita, the same villain we had known, but now she had a robotic body. Finally, the Power Rangers managed to destroy her, but we do not know if this energy was destroyed and returned to wander through space.